What's up, everybody? It's your boy West Grind. You're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I give my nerd views on today's nerd news. First, I'd like to start off with some sad news that I woke up, and most of you probably found out earlier today that um, there's been like a massacre in Las Vegas. And I'm not gonna say the guy's name. It's some elderly guy, I believe, like 63 years old, and he was on the 32nd floor and just uh, equipped like an assault rifle and just opened fire on on a bunch of innocent people that were just enjoying a concert, I believe. And he ki he killed at least 58. So I just like to start off by saying like um, my condolences to the family and friends of the people that were killed and the ones that are injured and. Um, my best wishes and hopes go out to the people that survived and for the people that perished or died. So um, that's just a, that's the first, that's the only thing I want to start it off with because I just had some friends that were just in Vegas like like last week. So it could have been one of them that were there. So and I've been to Vegas myself. So I it's, it's crazy that this that this shit happens. Um, I don't know if it's mental illness or whatever with this guy because he took his life. He killed himself. In the hotel room before the police got to him, so I don't I don't know what the issue was, but like I said, this this world that we live in, shit happens, and it really shouldn't like this. So that's all I want to say about that. So I'll start off now with uh, the nerd rundown. There's a lot of info I'm going to be giving you guys today, so just try and stay hold and just bring it all in, just absorb that into that cranium of yours. All right. So the first topic on a nerd rundown is uh, Jeff Johns and Diane Nelson. They're pretty much the top execs at uh, DC Warner Brothers. And they were in an interview with The Vulture in which uh, Jeff Johns said that the movies are not... What is he? The, movies, the movie is not about another movie. Some are connected, or like, you know, like Justice League, and some aren't, like Aquaman. So he just stated that. And then you know how the internet goes. And one of the fans uh, tweeted him saying, Please make the universe connected. And he said, It is. 100% it is. And I take this as far as what he was saying. He wasn't saying that Aquaman isn't going to be part of the universe. Because he is. Of course he is. Like, you know, he was in the... Tr he was in one of the videos for the for for Batman vs. Superman that Batman sent to Wonder Woman. Aquaman is part of it. But what he's saying is he's not going to solely rely, and and I don't. It, people might think it might be say, maybe some jabs at, at you know Marvel, because Marvel tends to put in like a crap load of post credit scenes, whatever. Yes, and then there's references in the movies to other things. Yes, but not necessarily all the time. You know, what DC is saying is they're not going to rely on that too much. They're going to be in the same universe, but they're going to try to have a great story without needing to mention the other the other people. That what's it's sort of like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's film, it was great on its own. The only thing that was referenced was in the beginning where she got the picture and then she started having the flashbacks. And then at the end where she put the picture down and then went off to fight. But other than that, Wonder Woman was her own story. It had nothing to do with the Justice League. had nothing to do with Batman, Superman, any of them. So I can understand what they're doing. And I'm looking forward to it because I haven't heard anything bad about this Aquaman movie. And Jason Momoa... Badass, like I said, I fell in love with this dude. No homo, I, but I fell in love with this dude when I first saw him on Stargate Atlantis. Y'all think y'all first seen him in the Conan movie, or y'all think y'all first seen him in that what was it, um, the Game of Thrones? Nah, bro, real true fans know this dude from Stargate S you know, Stargate Atlantis. That's what we know him from, and then he fought against Tilk. Yo, that's what's hot, but regardless of the fact. I'm looking forward to that Aquaman movie. And Justice League, it's sure it's getting done, but it's not too reliant. They're not going to be too reliant on making it so connected to the Justice League movie. They're going to just have the movie be a great movie on its own. And I want that. I'm looking forward to that, and I'm hoping for that. All right? So, next thing uh, we're going to talk about. Deadline has reported that Sony is fast-tracking the uh, a Men in Black spinoff. For for them to come out in... They're trying to hope for May 17th, 2019 release. And Tommy Lee and Will Smith will not be in this movie. They're not going to be part of this movie. Because it's going to be a spinoff. Um, as far as how I feel about this... Men in Black 3 wasn't the best. Um, 
if you guys remember, like a while ago, there was like these leaks for the Sony emails. There was talks of a combination of Men in Black meets 21 Jump Street. <clears throat> Hashtag MIB23. That sounds great because you know what? It could have worked. It definitely could work because if you watch um, 21, 22 Jump Street, at the end, they had all these fake kind of like trailers or posters for their next movie, like 23 Jump Street, 24 Jump Street, 25 Jump Street, I think all the way up to 27. In in 20 in the in the Jump Street movie franchise, it's like it's so out there that they could just have fun. And if they combined it with Men in Black, they could have fun. If they were dressed in the black, Shannon Tatum and um and what's what's his name? Uh, uh, Jonah Hill. Yo, I think it could work. I think it worked perfectly because then. Because they could literally go to 23 Jump Street or 24 Jump Street like nothing happened. Like, that's just how crazy this, this franchise is. They could just play that off and it will work. So, I'm still hoping for that. Fingers crossed, it might be 23. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm looking for. Um, But they're looking for directors. They don't even have directors. They don't They don't have anybody on this thing. It's, like, it's just a rumor, but they're talking that they're fast-tracking it for it to happen. So, they want this to happen so they're hard looking for a good director and good script and all that stuff. So, hey, like I said, I'm hoping that it might be 23, but the spinoff, don't really care too much about. But it still could work in a Men in Black universe. It's a big universe, and my, I myself was a big fan of the cartoon. If you guys don't remember the cartoon, look that shit up on YouTube. Men in Black, the cartoon series. It, and it, at first it threw me off because it wasn't Will Smith's voice, but after a good enough episodes, you enjoyed it. It's a good show. It's, the, it's a good cartoon for what it was back then, so check that out. Next, um, Avatar, the sequel, has released a bunch of images of its new young cast. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, they look like, they look like the Disney, Disney Kid Club. That's what they look like. And I'm looking at these images. I'm going to try and see if I can put a um, description or link to the images down below. But I don't care because it's, it's supposed to, they're, most of them are supposed to be siblings or relatives or um, underlings. Like, uh, offsprings, basically, of Sam Worthington's, uh, what's his character's name? Sully. Sam Worthington's and Zoe Zadana's, uh, child. But except they're Na'vi. But in a the picture, they're humans. So, I'm like, it looks like a, a photo shoot for Disney, cl D Disney kids. And what they should have did was hold off on this and show the kids. And then maybe show another picture with them as a Na'vi kid. So, you know, you could sort of understand what the... F you know what they're gonna do. What what is their purpose? Because they're showing the pictures of these kids standing, looking like from like a, a Gap Kids commercial. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm just gonna stop right there because literally I really don't care. Um, but they're supposed to be recording two and three back to back, and then taking a pause, and then after that they're gonna record four and five. And I'm like, really? The Avatar do do one good Avatar. This dude's planning four sequels. That's crazy. Like, how do you plan four sequels? when the first one was so long ago and it did great because it did the 3d so unless this new 3d or whatever new technology james cameron does that blows us away again i don't know but at this point i really don't know if it's really going to do as great as he hopes it is but that's that next on a nerd rundown a uh, new character poster for justice league hence is why i'm rocking the justice league shirt you know what i'm saying looking nice and you know a little buff just puffing the chest out a little but <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's pretty much like side profile shots of each of their heads. So I'll try and see if I could get a link down below for that too. But it's nothing too much, nothing too crazy. But hey, Justice League, I'm actually gonna use for my thumbnail the official just the official Justice League poster that they put out a couple weeks ago or a week or something like ago. So check that out. But they look okay, and it's it's minus Superman on top of that. So they don't have Superman in those little side profile. But hey. Uh, Polaris might be Magneto's daughter in the new Gifted sh uh, TV series. So then, I guess one of the main characters, uh, she might be connected to uh, Magneto as far as some because Magneto has two daughters, you know, Scarlet Witch, and I forget what the other one's name is, but he has another daughter. So this might be that other daughter. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I think the show comes out either today or tomorrow. I think it's tonight. So if you guys uh, check on your TV guide or whatever, if you still use that, but check on check on your um the the menu and check out and see if it's coming out because I think it's tonight. So check out the gifted. It's a Fox show about mutants or whatever on a run. Um, the next one, Zack Snyder shares the mother box storyboard 
pictures, which are just sketches. Uh, story box is pretty much just sketches of, of whatever you're planning on doing as far as a movie or a show or something like that. Like, think comic book sketches before it's colored in and before it's, like, penned in. It's just rough draft. So that's pretty much all it is. Like, you know, Zack, Zack Snyder shared some of that, which we've already seen what he sketched in the trailer. So there's nothing really big or important. Uh, Yandu might be in a flashbacks for Guardians. Uh, James Gunn said this himself. Um, I don't know. He might actually be even in the... Uh, Miss Marvel, because Miss Marvel goes in, she's dealing with the Nova Corps, and she's in space, so maybe you might see him in, even in that. But, um, yeah, if they use him in, is, I really think they, I wish they should, they didn't, you know, spoiler alert, killed him off in the Guardians of the Galaxy 2, because he was a great character. Like, I liked him. By that time, he was, like, badass with that literally, like, a pen just going, just, just killing everybody. Like, I don't know what was going on, but I wish I had something like that. You know, but, um, yeah, like, I'm, I definitely would like to see him in the next one if they have him. I wouldn't mind seeing him, as long as they don't try and bring him back in some crazy type of way. But, you know, flashbacks, I have no problem with that. Uh, next, Willem Dafoe is finished shooting for Aquaman. You know, that's the movie I was just talking about before. Willem Dafoe is a great actor. You know, he was the Green Goblin in Spider-Man. He's also the demon inside uh, the Death Note movie. And, like, he, he's a great actor. He's creepy as hell. He just looks creepy in general. So, I don't know, you know, like, I, if... I don't know what role he's playing in the Aquaman, but he's a great actor, so I'm expecting really good things from him. Plus, I said, the movie looks like it's probably going to be good. James Wan does not disappoint when he directs. He's a great director, so he looks like he's got a hold on this. Uh, next, we got Daniel De Kim. Uh, remember I told you he was from uh, Hawaii Five-0, and then uh, Ed Sheen, screen, screen, Ed Screen, uh, stepped down from being the major inside the Hellboy movie so because he wanted the diversity so and then they brought in Daniel Del Kim and he posted a bunch of videos of him training and doing fights because he's supposed to be I believe it's a wear jaguar which sounds pretty damn cool so I'm looking forward to see him in this and it's supposed to originally be an Asian character that's why Ed Screen stepped down so this guy he's being more true to the, um, to the source material so Definitely look forward to seeing him. I'm trying to see if I could get a um, link to his, uh, you know, training video down below. And then last, um, <laughs> in humans, apparently it's it, it debuted, but I didn't see it when it came out. So I tried to look on my Verizon, and you can't find the opening episode nowhere. Like it's like they're so ashamed of it. They're not even allowing anyone that didn't see it to see it. So, that's crazy. I don't know what's going on there, but hey, we'll see what goes on, because I actually want to see if it really is as bad as everyone said, but, you know, On Demand didn't even have it for demand. <laughs> so, that's, when they said dead on arrival, that yo, I guess that's true, really dead on arrival. Um, next, um, I'm just going to talk real quick about as far as the movies for the for the week, uh, for, for the weekend, the box office weekend, Kingsman. The Golden Circle came out on top for number one. It's 16.975 million. It took number two place at 16.93 million. In an America Made with uh, Tom Cruise came in at 16.758 million, which all of them pretty much were 16 million. But except, you know, like it was so close. And then uh, the fourth place was Ninjago at 12 million. And then Flatliners, which I hear is. Dead on arrival as well. This sucks. Is it six point seven million? I mean, that's as far as it, as far as the movie, the weekend box office weekend. So hey, that's what happened for the weekend of movies. I mean, I'm glad for it, for it because it's definitely making that money, getting like making that bank. Kingsman. I'm not hearing. It's hearing. I'm hearing mixed reviews as far as that. Some say it's okay. Some don't like it. Some saying it's over top. Some saying it's too cheesy or too campy. And I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm hoping to, see, you know, be at least entertained watching it. Because there's sometimes, but like, I'm very critical too. If it just seems too out there, I might just hate the movie. And I'm hoping not to hate the movie because I like the first movie. I didn't know how they were going to come back with a second movie because if you've seen the first movie, all the bad guys are pretty much killed with that blow head explosion. So whoever survived, I guess, whatever. Last of all, going to talk to you real quick. The thing that's going on this week, Comic-Con. 
Comic Con's going down. It's coming down on Thursday, then Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. I don't know if someone's going to be able to get me a ticket. I don't know what's going on, but I know I'm going to, I know sure as hell come Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then Monday, probably next, all through next week, I'm going to have a crap load of shit to talk about because you know there's going to be so many movie news, so many TV show news, so many comic book news, so many video game news, so much news that I'm not going to be able to keep up. So I'm just going to be, see, I'm going to, you're going to see bags under my eyes. You're going to see me like a zombie you got, I, I, I might just not even have my head on I don't know what's gonna happen but I just know it's gonna be a crap load of shit for me to give you guys as far as information so stay tuned I'm hoping you stay with this video and, and tune in for me because I'm gonna try and give you as much as I can all of me so you can give me all of you like you know some John Legend shit so <laughs> um, thank you for watching the video my name is Wes Grant and remember to subscribe uh, Check out yesterday's video, um, or yeah, Friday's video as far as, you know, the nerd news. So remember, I'm Wes Grant, you've been watching Suburban Nerd, and you've just been nerdified. Catch you guys tomorrow.